All right, so here it is, five o'clock in the morning, Saturday. I don't know what today is. Middle of March. It's uh, supposed to get daggone 70 degrees today. Buddy of mine, <coughs> Jason Servants, has got a couple trees around his shop or his building or something like that. He's wanting me to come up there and cut. And he's been wanting me to do it for back near almost a year now so i'm gonna go up there and take care of that or try to take care of that and i don't know what it looks like just yet and i don't want to get myself back into a corner to where it turns into me having to buy him a new house or a building or a car or something like that so if it don't work it don't work i'm not no tree climber i'm not no residential or yard worker but i don't mind to go and help somebody and i need some turkey poop for my garden Jason's got turkey farms up there at his house and I told him I'd trade him out some money for cutting the trees for the turkey poop. So hopefully it's a win-win and I get to go up there and help Jason and maybe he gets to help me get some turkey poop. We'll take you all with me today. Hopefully I can get Jason to do the uh, photography with my phone and maybe I might be able to get some yard trees for the channel and see where it goes from there. Right now, I'm heading down here to the local cafe where my mom works. She's gonna fatten me up on some breakfast real quick. I got about a two hour drive north, heading up there to Jason. So, we'll see you in a bit. Let's go in there and see what mama's got cooked up for breakfast this morning. My mom has worked down here for 34 years now. Wow, mom really knows how to make a good breakfast. Over easy eggs, bacon, Fried potatoes, white gravy, biscuits and gravy, and toast. I'll be lucky if I'll be able to get out of the seat of the truck here in a little bit and I'll help Jason cut a tree down. Pretty cool looking moon set. Over top the Ohio River. Well, finally made it up here to Jason's. Wow, you talking about rank. My neighbors are gonna kill me when I drop this turkey poop off there in the garden. Shoot! He's got, uh... Two small dead ash right there beside his little shop and then uh, one bigger ash back in the woods. I'm going to have to get a little crafty with some wedges, but I think we'll be able to get them. Look here, this guy. Here's friendly. Come here. It's old Stewart. Hey there, his name's Stewie. Huh. Bonza? You got a little Mexican in you, huh? Boy, neighbors are gonna be happy. Mm-mm. I don't want no dead turkeys in there. I don't want no dead turkeys. Yeah. <laughs> My God, that's rank. Well, I'd like to take one of them home too. Boy, that right there be about good eating. Mm -mm. I got no worse. Got the mange. Hurry, right, boy. They go start. Yeah. Hook battery up. It don't look that big in the phone, but hell, you're seven foot tall, ain't you?
many square bodies like that anymore. Good looking truck. If that don't make her pecker want to stick up, listen to that. this thing for sale. Boy, it's a pretty looking truck. All that just to move it 50 feet so I can drop this tree. Glad he got it running though. What is that, 87? Five. 85? What size axles is it? Two and a half ton rock wheel. You don't know what gear ratios in them? Uh, no. Built 350? Built small block. Just throw a throw together motor. One of them throw together, huh? You don't know how much lift it's got? Measure from the axle up is 27. Huh. And it's for sale? Yep. What about it? 11.5. Good looking truck. It's all solid too, ain't it? Yeah. It ain't full Bondo. No, it's all new sheet metal. Make a good daily driver. <laughs> all right, get these trees on the ground. All right, so typically I didn't get the trees on video. I would have liked to have, but it's kind of one of them things where you get yourself in a situation where there's a building involved, there's cars involved, there's a house around, there's Jason's little boy outside, there's an electrical junction box that powers his house and his shop, and I didn't get in the groove of wanting to video that. Not that if something went bad, I didn't want to put it on YouTube, I just... I don't want to put my situation in jeopardy with what they have going on. Just like when I went and did the Eddie Austin tree. That tree is what Eddie, that tree is what was causing Eddie's problem. And I didn't want to be the factor of ending Eddie's business and ruining his livelihood over that tree. So I've got to be 100% focused on what I'm doing to make sure that I don't end Eddie's livelihood over this daggone tree that is his problem. I was fixing to be Jason's problem if I wasn't 100% on what I was doing. I don't need to be concentrating on a YouTube video. I need to be concentrating on what is at hand and that is getting that tree safely on the ground without getting somebody or something hurt, hurt or damaged. So that's the reason why I didn't video it. Um, there was three dead ash that I had to get taken out. One of them, I fell away from the building using wedges. Uh, the other one, Jason actually hooked a tractor to it and it was leaning across his shed and right towards this junction box that powers their house and their shed and how they live. So Jason hooks a chain up to it and uh, gets to pulling on it and just busts the tree off four foot up. I'm glad that he'd done it because I didn't want to get myself in that situation because I would have had my hinge below where it actually broke off. So it would hard tell him what could have happened in that situation with him pulling on it and me below where it actually broke. No telling what could have happened there. So I did not need to be messing around with a YouTube video on that. Then the third one, I put a hinge in it. Jason takes the tractor and the loader bucket and raises it up as high as it would go and just starts easing on it. And I put a big heavy back cut on it and left a great big that big fat hinge on it. And uh, he just broke it off the stump. Worked good. Went away from the building. 
He's got him some firewood. The trees are off of the shed. Not gonna be an issue. And I got a truckload of turkey poop. Couldn't be any happier. Other than I didn't get it on video. Sorry for all that, but hey, it is what it is. Maybe the next one won't be so sketchy and maybe we'll get on video. Jason, thanks for the turkey poop. Uh, glad I got to come over and cut your trees down. Uh, tell the little drummer, I hope he gets his little snare drum fixed. Over and out.